American values and his fight for human rights and freedom throughout our hemisphere were, were but just a few of the reasons why it gives me so much pride this evening as a fellow Michigander to present the 2012 Chile Leadership and Public Service Award to the Honorable Congressman Thaddeus Mercado. Children. 
the oldest of which, Gabriel, went into the military, emulating his father's footsteps and defending our nation's freedom. Other children went into lines of work, ranging from dental hygienist to automotive engineer. The middle child, Gabe and Peggy, was a beautiful, dark-haired, brown-eyed girl who went on to become a registered nurse and who has inspired me every moment that I've met her. Her name is Rita Michelle McCotter. She is the mother of our children, George, Timothy. She cannot be here tonight because she is working at St. Mary Mercy Hospital as a registered nurse in the birthing center. But she sends her regards. I wanted to make sure that I asked you not to let me have too many desserts. The dessert bar. <laughs> She'd like to keep me around just a wee bit longer. It's not easy given my line of work. So to Gabe Michelle, whose own personal history has not only touched my life, but typifies everything that is right with the United States. I'd like to dedicate this award and to my friends, the Diaz Ballards, who are like my brothers, and to Ileana Ross Layton, who is like an old, a younger sister. <laughs> <laughs> unsurpassed in any other nation in the world. And that is why we understand. Why we understand why people like my father-in-law, my brother-in-law, and others have had to defend this country. It is because we enjoy the blessings of liberty, but we also bear its burdens. One burden is here at home, to form a more perfect union amongst our equal sovereign citizens. Another burden to remain a target of tyrants and terrorists and despots throughout the world who would impose their will and dominion upon their fellow human beings in violation of their God-given right to be free. And the final burden we bear is Lincoln, Mario, Ileana, and Henry, and others, so often remind us we have a duty free people to never forsake those who are struggling for their own freedom. Because if we forsake them, we forsake ourselves and endanger that which is most precious to us, most precious to those who suffer. So when we do our job, all of us, regardless of where we fit, whether we are in Congress or whether we are citizens of the corporate world, whether we are Republicans or Democrats, may we always be united so that when the final toll is counted and we all are held responsible for our actions in this finite stream of time called life, that we will not be found wanting in the balance and we will never hear the voices of those we forgot ask us why. Thank you very much for the support.